Israel's war is about to widen, marking their weapons. The next stage could be a combination of air, sea and land strikes. There'll be an emphasis on what the military is describing as significant ground operations. <laughs> Troops listen as a top commander tells them their country is watching and from here they move forward. <laughs> Those who witness these difficult, unimaginable sights on Shabbat will also have the privilege of witnessing the great victory of the IDF and the State of Israel over Hamas. <laughs> Israeli forces are also mobilizing in the north, where they've struck another enemy, Hezbollah, in next-door Lebanon. Last week's carnage erupted on this man's watch. Benjamin Netanyahu now meeting with soldiers in southern Israel. They tell him about the Hamas attack against communities here that triggered this war. Are you ready, he asks. This was one of the places the Prime Minister visited. The kibbutz of Kavar Azar is a hellscape. Israeli forces describe what happened here as a massacre. No rush to remove the killers. Yes, here in the kibbutz. Yes. We met one soldier who just found out a friend and her partner had been confirmed dead. We travelled together and she was a good friend. And let's go to your house, the Wozniers. I don't know, just think about your friend who just gone and you not see him again, not have any words. And obviously you're a soldier. I mean, you're part of the military response. Like, how do you, do you, does it make you want to have revenge? I don't want revenge. I just want justice. And if family. the order came, would you be ready to go into Gaza if, if you had to? If I had to? I will go. And you're not scared? No. You can see Gaza in the distance, about a mile away. It's from there that the Hamas militants came. They broke through fences like this one. You can see here the twisted metal as they tore through and then rampaged through the communities. There's a heavy Israeli military presence here now as they prepare for the next phase in their response. And as we were standing here, we could hear the distant sound of gunfire. Israel's war on Gaza has largely been fought from a distance for now. That's about to change. Deborah Haynes, Sky News, Southern Israel.